Hello everyone, thanks for joining my channel today and today I'm just going to show you my standard workflow for making a cup of latte and uh, this is the equipment we currently have and uh, I'll be using the Florenzato All Ground to grind coffee I will be doing a simple uh, WDT followed by distribution, temp and then we'll pull shots and after we'll steam some milk then we'll make a cup of latte Right, hope you have enjoyed uh, today's short video and let's get started. Alright, so grinding is really very fluffy. Um, I would not say the Florence Auto All Ground is a zero retention grinder. It has definitely some retention, but usually it's within 0 0.5 gram which is uh, pretty solid for such a grinder uh, and of course so in the recent we are in the future very near future we'll be going to mod it to something with a uh, uh, zero retention right with the DF64 kind of a barrel system right so you can see the grind is actually pretty fluffy and with this kind of fluffy ground and uh, normally we do not need to do any distribution right in fact we can straight away temp it with our auto temper so let's just do it with the auto temper right so the auto temper you have to make sure that you adjust the uh, the fork which will support your uh, power filter so if you use different size poly filter you probably will need to adjust this every time so simple uh, first of all right we'll try to level the coffee right then just push it in and that's it right it's very simple and of course, we're going to pop our puck screen and then let's pull a shot. Of course, today's machine is going to be uh, our, front, uh, our BBM Dome Bar Super, right? It's a really nice machine. Right, I have wrapped one side with the uh, kind of a turquoise blue color and the other side is still the stainless steel, right? So this is the outlook of the machine, which is a very solid machine. Uh, if I ever going to use any machine to do a consistent shot, this will be the machine to go for. Right, let me show you the profile. Right, I'm going to use a profile which I have adjusted. Uh, currently, we are running a profile starting with a 2 bar for about 10 seconds. So that's considered a low bar pre infusion. And followed by a 6 bar for 10 seconds, ramp up to 9 bar for another 10 seconds, then drop down to 6 bar. And then back to two bar, right? So uh, let me get a scale. And today we're going to use the Felicitas, Felicitas Smart Scale, right? Which is uh, currently what our shot carries. And then let's pull a shot, and we're going to do a bottomless shot. Uh, so I hope that there will be no channeling. The flows is too fast, so that shows that we still need to do a WDT before we temp. As you can see, the shot runs really fast, and that's actually because we didn't do any WDT. So that actually shows you how important WDT is. And of course, we're gonna we're not gonna throw away the shot. The shot it looks like a turbo shot, so we're still gonna drink it uh, to see how it tastes like. Mm, still pretty decent drink, I would say, even though the shot looks uh, fast. Um, but it is like a concentrated kind of a filter coffee shot, which is still have a good body, right? Mm, still a very pleasant shot. So let me um, put this aside and then we're going to pull a second shot. We're going to use the uh, Horizato again, right, to grind coffee. Then after that, we're just going to uh, prepare as usual. We'll do a WDT uh, distribution. Then after that, then we will actually temp it. Then put on the part screen, then we pull shots. So let's see the difference between the two. Before that, let's try to take out the uh, portal filter and see the condition of the part with a part screen on. So let's unlock the portal filter. Right, that's of course with part screen. Let's bring it over here. Right, of course, we need to uh, take out the part screen. Get a cloth underneath. Right, park should pop up easily, and then uh, you can see the park is really beautiful. So let's see how you knock out. 
one knock. See how clean the uh, field basket is. So now let's uh, doze on the Forenzato all ground. Right, beautiful coffee. Really well grinded by the Forenzato all ground. Right, so let's prepare the uh, coffee puck. WDT. Distribution. And let's proceed to temp. This is tamping with uh, 20 kg of force. And of course, last step will be the park screen. And then we can proceed to make another shot. Right, let's lock out our pure poly filter. So, start the program. That is the pressure profiling. Let's go down and see the extraction. Okay, I probably have to adjust the grind setting because it's still pulling too fast. So this is part of the process of the dialing of the bins. So adjusting on the foreign zata all ground is pretty simple. It is very similar to the DF64, right? So, but this is a step grinder, right? You have a clicks, whereas on the DF64 is a stepless one, whereby you don't feel any clicking, right? So let's try to grind a third time to see uh, whether we can get some uh, uh, better extraction. Okay, before that, let's take out the part again. So same thing. Right, the part should be knocked out really easily. And it's as clean as ever. So now let's uh, grind again for the third time and hope I can get the grind size down okay. in this time. Right, isn't that beautiful? Let's proceed to prepare the coffee. screen again let's pull another shot and let's pull the third shot start the pressure profile this is uh, at six bar Okay, pretty nice extraction, no channeling. Now it's going to two bars. Right, espresso looks beautiful. Right, look at the color.
Right, let's steam some milk and make a cup of latte. Right, let's steam some milk. Um, this machine, um, I usually let it auto froth by itself. Right here has the four hole steam tip, so therefore I can do it this way. Right, normally for uh, one tip or two hole steam tip, I will not be able to do it hands free. Right, because the four tip. Uh, steam one actually generate more more air and more power in all direction hence therefore you can see that the milk we generate is a lot more uh, silky right so let's uh, try to pull a latte out Okay, this is quite bad actually. Okay, didn't get the uh, milk in at the correct uh, position. Right, but let's try the coffee. Right, so cheers. Oh, this this is uh, highlighting the sweetness, right? This is not a chocolatey type of uh, coffee that we roasted because this is roasted to uh, medium, and this is actually the Yunnan Katimo that we have brought in and roasted by ourselves, right? Um, you should come down to our showroom and let me make you a cup of coffee, and then um, yeah, it's really good, right? So I will see you uh, in the next one, right? So this is our usual routine, and sometimes. Um, if the grinder has not been used for quite a few days, right, and uh, you probably need to redial in the beans, and that, that takes a little bit of effort to try to dial into the perfect extraction they are looking for, right. The, the shot just now on the third one is still slightly, um, I would say the flow is uh, a little bit slow, so I could have uh, adjusted the grind size to be slightly coarser, so that it will give us a better extraction, um, slightly more volume, right. Um, so um, this is just a process of uh, um, getting the coffee that you want, right? So thank you for joining me today. This is CY once again, right? Um, uh, I will see you in the next video, right? And uh, see you in the, see you very soon and stay safe.